I'm rebuilding, overhauling my Borg Warner Velvet Drive transmission for the boat. And so we we're starting to get in it pretty deep and decided, well, let's go ahead and video this. So what I did first, I, I disassembled and removed this whole unit from here. Um, and then I removed this unit off the face here. And now I'm getting ready to take, I think this is planetary, if I, it's called right. It's a sun gear. It's a sun, what you? The sun is the sun gear. Okay, the sun. And then uh, I think they call that a ring gear. And then those little small ones are the planetary gears. So this actually just slips right. off. Did this, and uh, this comes off too. Right. So uh, this is all brand new to me. Every time something comes out, it's like, woohoo. However, it's terrifying. Oh, there's a key weight, it looks like. But no. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. So, I don't know why it showed there's two. Two keys? There's two on two oh, on that? this, but only one key. Huh. Maybe so people might, like me, could get it backwards and I'd still be right. Are those straight cut <laughs> gears? The edges? No, they're, they're not they're, bevel. They're not, they don't have any kind of a... This doesn't have any bubble. Mm -hmm. Those are straight cut. Yeah. Huh. So we're at Joe's place. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Um, since I'm working at the dirty, gravelly yard at uh, Napa Marina, we, we decided to give Joe a call and see if we could come out here and use his shop space for this disassembly. We all, I am not just going rogue on this either. There's a, a YouTube video where this guy disassembles the whole thing. Um, a part one and then a part two he reassembles. So I'm literally, I'll show you, literally following this process step by step. Get this. Get that one. Again. Look at this, this looks really good, nice to see. When you see grooves and stuff in here, that's no good, pump, jump. There's a key way here to drive the pump, we gotta drive him out, a little chisel, and he comes out the door. Try not to drop it, but we will. All right, and I always check in play right here, that's that's pretty good, that's not a problem. Now, these are 3 8 12 point, these four screws. Okay, so that that's what we're watching. To do this, he's very good. Um, I recommend you find that that video if you're gonna do this. Um, now he said to move this keyway right here, right? And it looked like he just hammered on that thing. Tapped it out. Do you want me to rewind hmm? the video? Well, you're good. Uh -oh. Wait, wait. <clears throat> a smaller hammer too, maybe. Yeah, here. Um, that and that. Hmm. Is it a straight key or is it uh, half moon? Let's see, maybe this shaft is pushed in there a little bit. No, nope, it's not. Hmm. I thought we rewind video. Let's rewind. <laughs> Let's rewind. Let's go and pause the. Uh... He oh. said chisel, so we missed that detail. So we're gonna try that again. This is terrifying. There it is. Oh, I'm so glad I got the shop space. Ooh. Now, this thing looks, does it look uniform? Absolutely. And it was short side down, long side up, which is why the chisel was able to get underneath it. And it doesn't look like we caused any hammering damage. So I want to figure out We'll Where see. to put that, okay? So right. 
So we just got a little snap ring removed, which was giving us a real devil of a time um, on, on this side of the shaft. So now, per the instruction, we were to smack on this with a rubber mallet, which I just did, and loosen this up. So the shaft. So removing the shaft there. And I'm going to set this down like that. Now, let's open this up more. Let's just set that in here. Just because. Oh, there we go. It's in. Now, he said these, these rings will remove. Okay. So... Let's see. Oh, there's snap rings. Looks like it, huh? We don't like snap rings at the moment. Man, he just did them apart with his hands. Yeah, we do not like snap rings right now. And... Assembled the clutch. Uh... And so these are the clutch rings. We had we kind of used a pseudo press using this and a hammer and a stock of aluminum. So now here's all the rings that need to come out. And that um, comes out. That's the plate. Wow. I didn't see him take that out, but. So, we've got that. And mm -hmm. all the clutch rings. Should and we have, a, these are all in the um, the kit, the rebuild kit. And these all look great. So the guy in the video said that, uh, I think he said that he was going to reuse his because they all look so good. This is starting, you see a little bit of wear there going around in circles. But since I have the kit and I'm rebuilding it, I have the material, I will go ahead and replace these rings. Probably hang on to these in case there's some international emergency. Ooh, that sounded so spy-like. And then the top ring. So that's why he threw that one in the video to the side. It's like, oh, you mixed them up. Well, you can see how thick <laughs> that is. Plus it's got this. So this one is on top and the other one is on bottom, which is also super thick and kind of super thick. And then all of those in between. So exciting we'll take this out. Um, now we've got the inside of that, which is nothing but a really cool looking piece of metal, which be a good paperweight on a desk. What? We'll you don't think so? In, right? Huh? We'll put it back in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, this this piece doesn't come in my in my rebuild kit. But what is bugging me right now is that uh when I was trying to take that small snap ring off that that um that what? shaft it um my little snap ring, I used one with tiny tips. And one of those little teensy tiny tips actually snapped off of this of the tool right over the top of the bearing. So we might have to take these and bearings so apart. Actually, it is this bearing. Yeah. It's this bearing right here. I was working over, and a little piece snapped off. So it's it's much piece. less. There's much less exposure on the inside. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, I it could have flown out, flown out. I just don't know. Could have landed on the floor, but it's kind of uh, killing me on the inside right now. Wondering if that little tiny piece is in there. So, so 
We might have, have to actually it. take that piece apart. Let's we see. have the bearings. Well, yeah, we do. And we get, there's another snap ring in here. And then you press that out, I guess, is what he was saying. Okay. Hmm. That's really colored. See that. Wow, look at there's some wear right there. That's what makes all that black. All that blackness is metal, metal on metal. So what's causing the wear? Um, just things? friction, yeah. These friction plates just wearing down over time, just wearing. I mean, this is really clean. There's obviously nothing wrong with that, but uh, that's just a, a sign of use and consumption. Okay, all right. Oh, that just popped up. Okay, so we just took the um, this cap off the back. This. And this has the seal. This is the output. This is the output shaft. That's the output shaft steel, seal, and here's the bearing. So, let's see what's unique about this. Nothing, but yeah, I see lots of uh, good, good grime there. So, That'll be good to clean that up. I like making things shiny again. So, um, just set it there for now. I want to actually look at this. Because, see, this, I'm wondering where that goes. Because I didn't pay good enough attention when I took it off. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll bet it goes. Right there. Right here. There's a right there. Oh, good for you. Yep, and it's even got a stain mark right there. So we got a, a dent to match that. So it's off to a diagonal. Strange, but okay. I'll call it a nipple, but okay. And so this will get that knocked out of there, and then this will go. Like that. Look at that cool look at machine surface. I like it. But I'm uh, I'm not gonna go any farther into this reduction gear bell housing because I don't have the instructions for that. And we don't know if we have all of the. Well, we I have a complete rebuild kit. I don't honestly don't know if it includes the bell housing or not. So um. Uh, yeah, so we'll go through it here and take a quick look. This has been kind of fun. I recommend it if anybody wants. The, the hardest part was having the right snap ring tool. Okay, having the right snap ring tool. This is kind of unique looking. It's flat. It's got some little uh, knurled edges on it to be able to grip that snap ring. It's a unique snap ring. It doesn't have the loops in it, but this grabs it and keeps it from mm. it. Sorry. Anyway, it grabs it right. So having the right snap ring tool is very important. Having a 30, where's that, where's that? Uh, 36? Like a 37 millimeter, there it is. This is pretty, this is fairly large. And it is a, uh, it's a one time use nut. Mm hmm. And it just comes in the rebuild kit. Where was that? Hmm. Yeah. So this is a one and a half inch, okay? And it's not, it popped off pretty easy with a socket. So having one and a half inch for this nut, having the right snap ring. And then there's one other thing. Oh yeah, we used the vise and a uh, 
The guy in the video used a punch or a press. I mean, he used a press. We used a a hammer and a um, like aluminum stock or two hammers. It worked, and we managed to tap it out without damage. So that is the most complex it was to get this whole thing to this level of disassembly. Okay. Okay.